Say, girl, you so fine. Love to make you mine, but you always make you mine. I'm be wasting all my time. I use a fucking vibe, but I'm still up on your line. Property ID, SCP-096. Classification, Euclid. Security measures, SCP-096 must be secured at all times in a 5 meters by 5 meters by 5 meters airtight steel cube. Weekly checks for holes or cracks are mandatory. Without the permission of Dr. Classified and O5 Classified, no cameras or the like may be in a cell. Security personnel use pressure sensors and laser detectors to monitor SCP-096. Description, SCP-096 is an approximately 2.38 meter tall creature with human appearance. The object shows little muscle mass, which indicates severe malnutrition. Both arms have a length of about 1.50 meters. The skin is usually without pigmentation and without signs of body hair. SCP-096 can stretch its jaw four times wider than a normal human. The rest of the face resembles that of a normal person, except for the eyes, which also show no pigmentation. It is not yet known whether SCP-096 is blind or not. It shows no higher brain functions. SCP-096 is usually docile. The pressure sensors show that he spends most of the day facing the east wall. However, when someone sees SCP-096's face, whether directly, via video, or even in a photo, it enters a period of emotional tension. Then SCP-096 holds his hands to his face and starts screaming and crying. After approximately 1-2 to two minutes after the first visual contact, SCP-096 runs to the person who looked him in the face, who will be referred to as SCP-096-1 from that point on. Speeds from 21.747991728 miles per hour to classified miles per hour were measured. At this stage, no material can stop SCP-096. It does not matter where SCP-0961 is located. SCP-096 has an innate sense of locating SCP-096-1's location. Note, this reaction does not occur in artistic representations. See document 096-1. When SCP-096 encounters SCP-096-1, it kills and, data deleted, immediately SCP-096-1. In 100% of all cases, there is nothing left of SCP-096-1. After SCP-096-1 is killed, SCP-096 sits down for a few minutes and becomes compliant again. It will try to return to its natural habitat, data enacted. During the possibility of a mass chain reaction, including a breach of foundation secrecy and large civilian casualties, searching for SCP-0961 should be considered an alpha priority. Dr. Classified has requested immediate termination of SCP-096, see interview 096-1. Approval is still pending. Order has been confirmed and is to be executed by Dr. Classified on, data redacted. See Incident 0961A, audio transcript of Interview 0961. Interviewer, Dr. Hash Hashtag Interviewee, Captain, Rhett, former commander of the Zulu 9A Search Party Search Incident Number 0961A. Start a protocol. Time, Research Area Hash Captain. It's always totally annoying to get the first search service. You have no idea what the damn thing is capable of, other than the messed up information the field technicians can scrape together, and you're lucky if they can even tell you the whole story. They said we should put a sack on him. Didn't tell us anything at all about not looking at the damn thing. Drive. Hash colon could you please describe the mission? Captain. Yes, sorry. We had two helicopters, one with my team and one as reinforcement with Zulu 9B and Drive. We sighted the target about 2 kilometers north of our patrol trail. I guess it didn't look in our direction. Otherwise it would have killed us then in their dot drive. Hash colon does your report say that SCP-096 did not respond to the cold? It was hash hashtag a cold dot captain. Actually, it was hash hashtag a cold. And yes, it was completely naked and not shaking. Anyway, we landed, approached the target and Corporal Hash got ready to catch it. That was when drive. Called. I turned to answer him and that was what saved me. The target must have turned around and my whole squad saw it dot drive. Hash colon that was when SCP-096 got upset? Captain. Joe. The interviewee now stops for a second before continuing talking. Sorry. I still feel very different when I think about it. Dr. Hash. That's okay. Captain. Yes. Well, I never saw his face. My squad did, and he paid for it with his life. Dr. Hash colon could you describe it in a little more detail? Captain. Hesitates. Yes. Yes. It started yelling at us and crying. But it was not an animal roar. It sounded exactly like a human being. Really damn scary. Hesitates again, we started shooting when he lifted Corporal Hash and tore off his leg. Oh god, how he cried out for our help. Damn a. Eh? Anyway, we shot pieces out of the target, magazine after magazine. Didn't do a shit. I almost lost it when it started, data deleted. Dr. Hash, 
that's when you requested the use of an, rustling paper can be heard, AT-4 HET rocket launcher, apt, an anti-tank weapon, started taking them with me since SCP, broke out, I have seen them cut through tanks like through a handkerchief, tried the same thing with the thing, Dr. Hash, it caused significant damage to SCP-096, Captain, it hasn't even shied away, it just tore my people further apart, even though half his body was destroyed, he makes a large semicircle over his upper body with his fingers, Dr. Hash, but it has been damaged, Captain, if it has been damaged, then it has certainly not shown that, it must have lost all its organs, all its blood, but it didn't appreciate that one bit, his bone structure was also not damaged at all, it just kept tearing my people apart, Dr. Hash, so no actual structural damage, how many magazines would you say were fired at SCP-096, Captain, at least, thousand, our gunner at the door stopped with his GAL-19 on it for at least 20 seconds, 20 damn seconds, that's 600.50 caliber cartridges pumped into the thing, you might as well spit on the thing, Dr. Hash, that's when Zulu-9B arrived, Captain, yes, and my people were dead, Zulu-9B managed to put the bag over his head and then he just sat down, we put it in the helicopter and then we brought it here, I don't know how, but I never saw his face, maybe God or Buddha or whoever thought I should live, the fool, Dr. Hash, we have an artist's impression of SCP-096's face, would you like to see them, Captain, hesitates, you know, after hearing the thing and my men screaming like that, I don't think I want to put a face on it, no, simple, no, Dr. Hash, okay, I think we're done here, thank you, Captain, chairs can be heard being moved and footsteps leaving the room, it is confirmed that Captain, Rhett, has left interview room 22, Dr. Hash, leave it on the recording that I specifically request the termination of SCP-096, and as soon as possible, end of protocol.